to make my awesome Irish cream drink, you will need two tins of evaporated milk and some Swiss chocolate and some blossom honey. Yeah, squeezy. Followed by your favourite coffee. Then put on your cooker on full and put a pan or a this is a rice cooker pan which I put on here. Whoops! Just about Whoops, there. Whoops! Spillage. It's it's difficult to uh, film and do that at the same time. Here we have the nice ground coffee. I couldn't grind it very fine because my uh, my coffee machine is a bit low on pressure, so it can't force the water through. Very easy. So um, I just have to make do for now. Anyway, we need to get this jug and place it inside. And then you need to tip in your first can of evaporated milk. And then your second can. Then you need to make some double espressos, just like this, in an espresso sized cup. And then in goes one, two, three, and Four. That's four double espressos. Get your mixer and your honey and blend it all together. Oh no, looks like a bit of spillage. Anyway, you get some of this uh, Swiss drinking chocolate. Uh, and sprinkle it onto the top. This is a very good silky chocolate, and it goes really well with the. There we go. When it gets hot enough, the mixture will go really nice and smooth. The reason why I'm doing it in the glass is so that it doesn't burn and create lumps. Here we are, leave it here to cool for a moment. And after a while, you'll see that there's some skin here. Um, just use the whisk like this and you watch the skin as wrapped around the mixer. Just like that. And um, it's removed. Just like that. Anyway, when you're selecting a whiskey for it, just choose a, um, a basic blend because you don't want to ruin good whiskey. Anyway, but once you've uh, added the mixture into the whiskey bottle, like that, and then pop it in the fridge to let it go cold. I'm back. <laughs> Ooh, look at it. All nice and cold and ready to drink. Ah. Silk in a bottle. <laughs> Before you drink this gorgeous drink, I recommend you go to the honey and drizzle in a, a, about a centimetre of honey into the top, like so. Or simply adjust to your desired taste. And then put on the top. See the honey is set at the bottom like that. It means it is ready. Now pour the gorgeous mixture into nice big glasses. We don't need the 50 milliliter 
measures like getting the pub we can just pour it into a normal big mug full of ice just like this and um, this was reasonably quite cheap to make too here's a taste test there you go wow I hope you liked my video on how to make this gorgeous Irish cream. It would be great if you could like and subscribe and um, look below as I will put some text information to guide you through your first make of this gorgeous Irish cream drink. It was totally experimental. I was just amazed how it all fell out in the right way to become this amazing, awesome drink. So, enjoy it because I know I have been and it's just too good. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe, and um, I'll bring you other great videos. Or maybe you could look in my older videos if you want to learn how to make green tomato chutney in a walk. Anyway, thank you watching. Bye-bye.